Hi, in this part I'm going to show you how to create this button animation. Alright, so if I click I have this three dot loading and we go back to the default. Alright, now let's go and create a new frame of 200 pixels wide by 44 pixel height and 25 pixels um, border radius or let's give it 50 pixels border radius all right zoom in and change its color to a green color all right now let's go and create a new text layer we name it to no add text let's give it 16 pixels medium and enter for the font size center and transform to auto layout all right, now for the next phase, let's go and create our loading dots animation. So we will create this animation, then we will add it here. So to create the three dots animation, we're gonna create three ellipse of six by six, maybe. Yes, be six by six, and I will duplicate it two times. All right, we transform this to white color and this to color to a opacity of 40. All right, now select everything and let's transform this component. And then for my component, I'm gonna first change this background color to dark. So you can see, all right, now create a new variant and Let's align this to side by side and now select this. Let me go back just right. Let's select all the edit inside my variants and go here to constrain and add center to center. All right, now I'm gonna change my variant content container to 15 pixel height and then I'm gonna align the dot to the bottom edge all right I'm gonna also create a third variant that's great now for my first variant I'm gonna align this to the top and for my second I'm gonna align the center to the top and for my last one I'm gonna align the last dot to the top all right, I'm going to change this to 40% opacity and this to 100% opacity. Also here, I'm going to go back to 40% opacity and for the last dot, I'm going to move it to 100% opacity. All right, now let's connect everything using the prototype connect the first one and select after delay let's put one millisecond and smart animate is out 300 let me make sure all right and also connect the second with the third one after delay one millisecond and 300 smart animate is out 300 milliseconds and the last one we connected with the first one to create a loop after delay one millisecond and keep this to default now let me remove this dark background all right let's hide it and in my component frame i'm gonna add a dark background so here it will not affect my um, variant color it will just be the background of the whole component set all right now let's test our animation create a new frame let's go here let's name it this animated and let's move this and change the frame background to a dark color let's go and hit preview and here as you can see we have our animation let's see in a standalone window zoom in and here is our animation all right now i'm gonna 
remove this frame and let's go rename this to bottom and transform our bottom to a component then add a variant in that variant let's add our animation and remove our text or just hide it for now all right and then the bottom frame that it become a full circle i'm gonna size it manually 44 by 44 make sure this is also 44 and let's go and create a new variant let's go back to the original width which is 200 pixels and let's hide this dots go back to our default state all right now for example we can play with that let's uh, for example let's make this absolute position and move that to the top or to the bottom and this sand skip it by here let's go to the second variant we have our sand for our sand we're gonna transform it to absolute position center and move it to the top all right and let's connect everything and see how it works now let's go to prototype the first variant with the second one and let's go with on click smart animate is out and 300 millisecond and for my second connection let's go with after delay um 15 millisecond or one and a half second and is out and three milliseconds all right and now let's go and connect this on click to create a full loop all right let's go and test this create a new frame let's change its background to a light green and let's move our component inside center it and let's go and hit present zoom in all right if i click right i have this animation then we go back now i need to when i click i need it to be centered not go to the left so here i'm gonna play with my constraint to center and center all right let's see how it works if i click all right animation and it will go back to all right click again and all right that was everything for today's tutorial and i will see you in the next tutorial i hope this video was helpful and i created this tutorial using master ui components so please visit masterui.co to discover thousands of components to fuel your creative genius thanks and if you have any suggestion for the next tutorial please feel free to share them by leaving a comment. See you in the next one.